It's been a great day for all of us. It's been a great day when you could have a personality like Mr. Chamala, who is an administrator or a teacher, a man who was from the teacher's teaching family, who loves teaching, who has always been a teacher throughout his life, being with us today. On this 5th of September, we celebrate a teacher's day, which we are all aware is the day when our great man, Dr. Shabbatali Radha Krishna was born. Another very humble man, I'm sure all of you have been reading about him. But then, if I could recreate what I know about Radha Krishna, Shabbatali Radha Krishna, it won't be an occasion to worry about, but rather than relish about this greatness, this good quality. Another wonderful man who was a teacher and administrator, who just rose to the eyes, who was always loved, a man who studied in a very small village in Tirupani, which is so I am close to Thirupati, in case you remember the name. This gentleman studied hard, got scholarship, went on to do his professional courses. Incidentally, he turned towards philosophy. It was not because he loved philosophy. It was basically because he could not afford to do any other studies. He joined a college, then shifted to another college called Madras Christian College, which is in Chennai, and went on to do his philosophy. He did his philosophy basically because his relative, who has completed his philosophy degree, had the books handed over back to him. So he said, okay, let me also start doing his philosophy. In those days, the colleges are run seriously by the Britishers and they believe philosophy is something they should just learn all about the religion. And he was one man who even though respected every religion, cannot or could not at that particular point of time withstand somebody talking ill of his own religion. So he started looking at Hinduism also as a religion which has stayed for a very long time. He studied Veda, started talking philosophy, gave his entire life to philosophy, and one of the Britishers, when he put forth his thoughts and proved that all religions are evil, he loved the Vivekananda, he loved everyone out there who were philosophers and teachers in the Indian continent. India is a very rich country, respects all religions. Therefore, he proved himself from Dunham, he moved. He moved from place to place. He was finally at Banaras Hindu University. Then later on, he became the president of India after becoming the vice president of his time. So that's how Dr. Sarvapati Radha Krishna's life went on. He was loved. He was teaching at a college in Chennai known as Presidency College. This is another famous college, just next to the beaches of Chennai. Well, he was one teacher who was loved so much. Every philosophy student was so grateful to him those days for having taught the philosophy with this relished, which was understood, which was something which they literally waited for the teacher to come to the state. That is what Sarvapandi Radha Krishna's greatness is all about. A very humble man. So at the end of the day, what we celebrate here, the teacher's day, is the birthday of this great man, a great administrator. That is what we have been doing all these years, I'm sure. The teachers, which is one of the noblest person in the world, because they are the ones who bring the society up. 
Everyone needs to change. Everyone needs to learn. There are a lot of things to learn in the world today. We have plenty to learn. Every moment there is something to learn. Not necessarily only from our elder, but even from our master. But teachers, gurus, are the ones who need to be revered. Just after the Mata and Pita, there's always a guru, even the God comes later. So you can just very well understand the hierarchy between greed 